And so we, we just discovered how much it speaks to every single one of us, knowing that God loves us, He placed us where we are, He made us who we are, and He wants us to turn our hearts back to Him no matter what you're walking through. So that message is something you can apply every day in your life. Kristen Brewer, and I am one of the writers, uh, assistant producer, assistant directors, and directors here. Yep. And I'm Dan Deal, and I'm one of the producers and directors. Years ago, we've always known we're going to do the story mm -hmm. of Esther, and we always prayerfully approach, like, what's the next story that we should be telling? So this was, a, this was four, over four years ago that we decided we're going to do the story of Esther, and Kristen and I are very grateful that we were put on this particular project, and very quickly in working on it, we discovered how rich and beautiful and timely this story is, and it's certainly impacted our lives in huge ways, specifically everything that Esther and Mordecai went through, everything that, that God's people were going through in the world around them, circumstances that were completely out of their control, and all they could do was trust the Lord and turn their hearts back to Him. The heart of the story, it is beautiful. There's a lot of spectacle. It is gorgeous. It's, it's, it's elaborate um, on the stage. It, it's all of those things, and we hope that they are blessed by all of that, but we really we want them to be walking away knowing that they are not alone and that God is always working in their lives even when they can't feel him even when they can't see him and that they can trust him and that they're who they are and where they are for such a time as this you can't study the Word of God without it shaping and changing your heart and four years on the project with hundreds of people working on this project mm -hmm. all of us working to bring this story to life in all the different aspects it of course shapes you and changes you and stretches you. Um, that's just what God's Word does and that's what we always hope uh, for our audience that when they see God's Word for two and a half hours come to life in front of them that it really impacts their hearts as well. Yeah. It's a stretching experience. <laughs> My name is Justin Mazella and I play Xerxes. I came to Sight and Sound a few years ago and became impassioned with these stories and having a more effective way of storytelling, a more effective relational way of telling these stories to people who are coming to be changed. I can definitely attest to Xerxes being a challenging role <laughs> to figure out, peel back those layers. Uh, he is a dynamic person, he was a dynamic person, has a wide range of emotions. His mountains are high and his valleys are low. And to figure out what that meant as an actor, how to portray such a character, was both challenging and rewarding during the process. And it's been exciting to do. Uh, my name is Jessica Brown and I play Queen Esther. For Esther, I have found through the character <laughs> how to find my own strength and my own boldness and courage because I feel like a lot of times God calls us to do stuff that we don't feel like we're able to do. And for her, she definitely felt that way. But in the end, you see how bold she is and how much faith she had in God, and that in turn made her this strong woman. And I think that's what I'm learning through this character, is how to speak up and be myself, unapologetically, but be myself through Christ and to be courageous. Well, the thing that set Esther apart, she was beautiful, she was a Hebrew, but I don't think historically she would have been the only one. There would have been a few, like quite a bit of Hebrews because they were all around the area. What set her apart was that she was called. It was her time. And that's how all of our lives are. There is a specific time in your life when God calls you to do something. The line from the show is, will you choose to run or stand and fight? So most of us, when we feel like, you know, we don't know what God is asking us to do, we just kind of give up. What he's asking us to do is continue to be in communion with him so that we know um, that he has it all under control and that he's going to look out for our best interest and that every single interaction we have with every person is for a specific reason. Maybe not for our lives, but maybe it's for them or maybe it's for an outsider looking in on the relationship that you have with someone. I hope that people will walk out with a stillness and that they will feel calm after watching this um, to know that he is God and all we have to do is be still. Um, and I was saying this earlier today, but being still is 
actually an action. Being still isn't just sitting and waiting for things to happen. It's actively being in tune with God and um, nourishing that relationship with Him. Uh, so when the time comes for you to act and do something, you know that it's God telling you to do it. It's been years that I've known about Jesus Calling. One of the cast members years ago gave me a copy of it, and there's a number of us that uh, I see it on their desk that read it every day. He gave me a copy as oh, well. I here. give copies he out all the time because it's such, it's such an easy way to relate to the Lord and to see how much He loves and cares for us every single day. It, anybody who reads it, you just see how that's the message that I needed to hear today mm -hmm. to remind me to turn to Him and to remind me that He's, he's with me. It's such a beautiful, powerful tool. Walk by faith, not by sight. As you take steps of faith, depending on me, I will show you how much I can do for you. If you live your life too safely, you will never know the thrill of seeing me work through you. When I give you my spirit, I empowered you to live beyond your natural ability and strength. That's why it is so wrong to measure your energy level against the challenges ahead of you. The issue is not your strength, but mine, which is limitless. By walking close to me, you can accomplish my purposes and my strength. How appropriate. <laughs>